few quick application problems with combining polynomials. First one we're looking at. We want to find a polynomial for the sum of the areas of these four rectangles that are given. So the first thing we need to discuss, talking about the area of a rectangle, how do we get there? Area is length times width. So we want to find a polynomial for the sum of the areas. So I find the area of each individual one and I'm adding them all together. So the overall area, I'm going to call it O, is going to be, uh, it looks like zero. I'm going to call it something else. Mm. I'll call it R. So overall rectangles, some of those areas, what is it looking like? So what is the area of the first rectangle A? Length times width will give me 4x. And I'm adding, I'm looking at the sum, area of rectangle B. Length times width. Adding the area of C, again, length times width. Got x squared and the area of D. Length times width will give me 10. So we like to see it in descending order. What comes first? x squared. How many factors of x do I have? Nine of them, and to the end I'm adding ten. Pretty straightforward. So for you, find a polynomial for the sums of the perimeters and of the areas of the rectangles. So find one polynomial that represents the perimeter, one polynomial that represents the areas. So the area is pretty straightforward. We just did one of those examples. All we have to do is add up or sum up the areas of the individual rectangles looking at length times width. So the area, again I'm going to call it R. Length times width of the first one is going to be 2x squared. Length times width of the second, x squared. Length times width of the third one, 1 half x squared. And we can combine all these like terms. So we'll just see, how many do I have here that I can combine? I've got 3x squared and I'm adding a half to that. So we need common denominators to be able to combine those. So over here, I'm missing a 2 down below. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So I've got 6 halves x squared and I'm adding 1 half. So all together we have 7 halves x squared represents the area of the sum of those rectangles. And for the perimeter, what does it mean to be the perimeter? Adding up all the sides. So the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So a polynomial that represents the perimeter of all of them. So we need the perimeter of the first, perimeter of the second, perimeter of the third adding all of those together. So from the first rectangle, 2 times the length will give me 4x, if you want to write it out like that, plus 2 times the width. That's for my first rectangle. What about the perimeter of the second? So 2 times length plus 2 times width. And the last one, 2 times the length, plus 2 times the width will give me the perimeter in total of all of them. So let's just do some of the math. What are we looking at? I've got 4x and I'm adding 2 of them, so I've got 6x for my first rectangle. That one's taken care of. What's coming out of my second one? 2x and 2x will give me 4x. And out of the third, I've got 2x plus 1 will give me 3x. So all together we're looking at 13 of them. So if we were given a value of x, we can figure out the perimeter, the sum of all of the perimeters, and the sum of all the areas really quickly. Just plugging in one value for x and evaluating. The last two examples, we're going to have to draw some pictures to get a good idea of what's going on in each of these. So we'll take a look at the first. A new city park is to contain a square grassy area that is x feet on a side. Within that grassy area will be a circular playground with a radius of 15 feet that will be mulched. To determine the area of sod needed, 
find a polynomial for the grassy area. Lots of information flying at you, so we'll start from the beginning, start drawing a picture. So New City Park is to contain a square grassy area that is X feet on a side. So here's my square. Each of these sides has length X, and it's going to be all grass inside of there. And within this grassy area is a circular playground. Doesn't tell us where, but that's fine. It's a circle in there. And that has radius 15 feet. So from the center to one side is 15 feet. I guess we could put units on there. We want to figure out, and this is going to be mulched in the circle, determine the amount of sod needed for covering this area. So, the square is going to be grassy, the circle is going to be mulched. So we don't want to both grass and mulch the circle, because that's a waste of money. So the area that we need to grass is going to be the square, not including that circle, since we're putting mulch in there. So in terms of area, what does this shaded region represent? How do we, how do we calculate that? So our sod that's needed is going to be the area of the square where I need to have grass, and I'm subtracting off the area of the circle. Because where I'm mulching, I don't also need to grass. So we can build a polynomial from that area of a square. Area of a square, length times width, and then the area of a circle. What is it looking like? Area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi is just that constant, 3.1415, blah, blah, blah. And our radius is given to us 15 feet. So let's go ahead and plug that piece of information in. What is our sod that's needed? Area of the square. Length times width. So I'll have x feet times x feet. And what am I subtracting off? From that, I'm subtracting off the area of the circle. Pi times 15 feet squared. So what are we looking at? I've got x squared, that many feet, and I'm removing off. 15 times 15 will give me 225 pi feet squared. So our units are going to have to match, and they do. Feet times feet will give me feet squared. Feet times feet will give me feet squared. So in reality, we're going to need x squared minus 225 pi square foot of sod. So the area of the square minus the area of the circle is the part that we actually have to grasp. And we can represent it with this polynomial, a binomial of degree two. All right, so for you, an eight by eight foot shed is placed on a lawn x feet on a side. Find a polynomial for the remaining area. So how much of your lawn is left if you're not including the shed? So drawing a picture, it's helpful. Got my square lawn here, because they said it's x feet on a side. So x feet over here, x feet over there. And somewhere on the inside, I'm going to put it in the middle. I have a little shed, and it has 8 feet by 8 feet for its dimensions. So my entire lawn, if I'm taking away the shed, what am I left with? So how do we get there? Length times width of my outer is going to give me, so the overall area, length times width, x squared. That's my outer region, so all of it. And now if I'm removing the inner part, I'll be left with the rest of my lawn that doesn't include the shed. So I need to subtract off the shed's area. 8 squared. So we're looking at x squared minus 64, and we're talking about square feet is left in our yard.